Hi everyone. So right now I'm using F-Log uh, in a very extreme way and I'm checking to see how much detail I can get out of my face in the background and also uh, some ideas on the autofocusing ability. So I did a previous test and you'll see it on my channel where I have basically the same, same settings except for it was in acros with the red filter. Right now I have the same um, settings as before 1 48th of a second uh, 4.0 uh, for the f-stop um, 160 ISO 1080p 100 megabits and uh, that gecko audio is uh, internal um, ND filter as well uh, what else can I tell you uh, did I say fat gecko <laughs> uh, that's on the window uh, f-log um, that's about you know a lot of information there of course the Sun is hitting on my left uh, we'll see how much detail I get on the other side of the window here and then I'll be turning left pretty soon and then the Sun will be shining on my face and then I'll have a uh, some shade on the top and all this time I'll be looking at it uh, at home and then I'll be I'll kind of get an idea of how well um, the exposure is so the way I did the exposure basically I have to take it off of the fat gecko and then um, I'll get a sense the cool thing it has you know um, a built-in uh, view monitor um, internal view monitor and so um, what I'll do is I'll look in I'll look in the viewfinder and adjust it accordingly so I'll put my hand uh, where I think the exposure might be and then adjust the the um, the exposure with um, oh actually I made a mistake this is interesting uh, I said 160 didn't I for ISO and no it's 640 if it's in F log so automatically it goes into 640 so excuse me by saying that but here we go we're going to turn left over here and then we're going to see if we see any um, contrast definitely we're gonna we're, we'll see we'll see how the camera handles um, um, I've done this before with like the X uh, T, T3 and the X100 probably the X100 T or S and also the X E3 and um, maybe not the X T3 but most Fuji cameras they're a bit disappointing in terms of the autofocusing um, the continuous autofocusing and also the exposure in this type of contrast situation you have to almost get it right now with F-Log, that's a different story. You can sort of bring in some of the details, but you gotta be very careful in terms of not overexposing because then you won't find any details. And even, even if you can sort of like adjust it, um, sometimes you'll, there are certain things you just can't bring back. Uh, I'm still learning how to use F-Log, um, but a lot of the times I've noticed that um, you know I don't even have to put a lot on the um, the video that I recorded it turns out pretty nicely without one but of course you can put one that's not uh, that's not a problem so hopefully we will get a sense of an extreme um, version here if uh, if we do get uh, any clipping or not that's going to be pretty exciting to to look at so i hope uh, that was <clears throat> something that uh, um, is useful for you please subscribe uh, uh, please provide a thumbs up if this was something that uh, again is uh, something that you might use or was in informative and i hope to see you later all right i'll see you i'll see you bye-bye